see that when he moves his head to the side, you can see the center line of the wicker, but it's pretty. Yeah, definitely uh, the next step of, of progress was to, you know, get it on the sim. Um, you know, I think between IndyCar and everybody at Red Bull Technologies, it's just, it's been very seamless. You know, I think uh, going from Indianapolis to Texas to Iowa to, you know, Barber uh, to Long Beach, you know, uh, all the different kind of uh, street courses and road courses and, and uh, you know, different versions that we get through our season. Uh, there were no visibility issues, you know, it was uh, very similar to, you know, the device that we have on the car right now. Um, so everything uh, was, was pretty smooth. Uh, very confident, you know, I think uh, every step of the process has been, you know, done very well. You know, it's, it's not uh, kind of throwing things and seeing what sticks, you know, I think most of it has been proven previously and, you know, getting to this portion even, uh, you know, on the simulator I think covers a lot of the bases that, that we'll see to when we get to the real world, you know, maybe in, uh, you know, 30 or 60 days with, with uh, the first generation. So it, um, you got to go through these steps just to make sure there's not something silly that we may have forgotten or, uh, you know, can change in, in the design process. So um, it's been very good, you know, from, from the initial part to seeing the drawings to, you know, having the hard piece right now uh, and then to, to being on track, you know, in, in uh, you know, a few weeks, I think it's, it's gone very good. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, that's another uh, piece of, of the puzzle is, you know, the driver extraction. Um, you know, we, we see different versions, obviously, from having the first aero screen to, you know, how drivers get out of the halo. I think this kind of has, you know, the best of both worlds, um, you know, today with the structure that we have uh, is, you know, it's only going to get better, you know, with different areas that you can pull on or, or utilize. But um, that doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue at all. Yeah, I think, you know, the technology game moves very quickly in our sport, um, you know, and, and I think IndyCar has always been, uh, you know, at the forefront of, of moving, you know, the safety additions forward too, and, and not to rush, I think, you know, is is definitely the key. You know, I think there's, there's been other, you know, uh, things applied, I think, in our sport, um, but I think this will be the best of both worlds. So, um, you know, very, uh, you know, very happy to try and help and, and try and push this forward and, and be one of the drivers that, that, you know, can maybe help define, you know, the areas that, that may be tricky. But um, honestly, it's, it's been, you know, very well done from the get go and, and uh, the thought process has, has, uh, has been well covered in many different areas. So it's, it's been pretty easy.